Good morning campers. Brandon with Access RV. Still going down the line here and doing floor plan walkthroughs on my Palomino and Real Light truck campers. Right now we're going to be walking through a Palomino SS1240. The Real Light equivalent is a 1609. This model, just like the 1251 next to it, has a floor length of 8 foot 6. However, the great thing is this model will work on a 6.5 or an 8 foot bed. And a real quick reason for that while I'm here next to a 1251 is when you look at this skirting, you see how that's open to that rear wall. That makes room for a long bed to fit back there. And with your tailgate down, you can still use this exterior storage box. While the 1251 is blocked off back here, so it will only work on a six and a half foot bed. Now getting back into it, this one we have ordered in the upgraded gray gel coat fiberglass. You can see the difference between it and the standard white Phylon next to it. One thing that I really like about this model too is it doesn't have a shower inside, it has just a toilet. So that gives you a bigger dinette. But because of that, they have the dump station coming out of the rear. So with this model, you can actually leave your tailgate on and down. You don't have to worry about removing it. Now walking around, friction hinges on the door, large entry folding assist handle to help when you're climbing any entry steps in and out. These are pre-wired for electric jacks. If you ever wanted to swap them out, the jack heads are convertible by removing those four screws. And you've already got the pre-wire for the plug at each corner. Just above that is a pre-wire for a Furion backup camera, if you ever wish to add that down the road as well. This model weighs just under 1,900 pounds. So check your manuals and your stickers for your payload capacity. Palomino is now using slam latches. So you don't have to use those old twist style and magnetic door catches. You can see you can just drop it and it closes. Forward to that, outside shower. So you do still have the option to shower outside with this model. Exterior charge station for solar panels, uh, battery charger, whatever you needed to get some extra juice running into the battery in the camper. Below that is your city water connection. And then that is going to be your galley drain. This is their on-demand water heater. Uh, you can elect what temperature you want your water to be. They run substantially more efficient than the old style tank heaters. Forward of that is where you're pre-wired for your solar panels. And then moving more forward, your tank fill and your 30 amp shore power cord connection. These use your standard seven round pigtail to connect to the truck to recharge your battery and run running lights. Look at the front here. Palomino uses a single piece of this textured fiberglass for our roof membrane. So as opposed to, you know, even high end fifth wheels and truck campers that use rubber or vinyl roof membranes, you're a lot less prone to any kind of puncture damages when you're out in the sticks. Now we'll go back and go inside this camper. Here inside, You'll notice this also has a north-south facing bed, 60 by 80 inch Serta mattress, so you can use your residential queen sheets. You don't have to get any specialized one for the dumbed down RV queen. You do have foot locker storage on either side, as well as a fantastic fan above. And you can see on either side of that, the low profiles for the LED lights that they use. And Palomino's starting to get away from this, but I'll show you since this model still has that. They do have some underbed storage. And what I like to do with this is demonstrate the aluminum framing that they're using. In the kitchen, you have a three year refrigerator, runs off of AC, DC, or propane, followed by a two burner cooktop and your kitchen sink. Palomino really overcompensates for their canvas sides and cold weather by putting in this hulk of a furnace. It's a 20,000 BTU. So even if it's cold and you're having to run that more, it's so oversized, it'll keep you cozy. Back here by the controls for the electric roof, you have a controller for your water heater where you can turn it off and on, elect the temperature of your water. And then that silver plunger is your battery disconnect. Some storage above that's pretty deep. You also have some cabinets up above. 
That middle vent is where you're pre-wired for air conditioning if you ever wish to add it down the road. And what I like is because this model only has the toilet inside and it doesn't have the toilet and the shower, it gives you more room for a larger dinette. So this dinette is roughly six feet long. Uh, if you're ever going to need that second sleeping position, a lot of people really like that that's a pretty decent sized bed for somebody to sleep on. Again, my name was Brandon, doing floor plan walkthroughs on Palomino today. This is a brand new SS1240, or the real light would be a 1609. If you have any questions regarding this model, or anything that I can do to help you, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.